1968, when Kenya was celebrating her first gold medal from Mexico City Olympics, a legend was born. <laughs> Jacob Mole. Jamapoa, very good coach, focused, he knows what he wants, very fair, disciplined. Mkali kweli. Wee! Kina Tony Lidonde, akina Ghost, kulikuwa na Shoto, walikuwa kwa hiyo team, akina Bena, wato walikuwa na Chezea, team ya Islanda. You know, when we had the inter-estate footballs, football tournaments, everybody must play, whether you are young, whether you are old. So I first saw Ghost Mule when he was playing for a team called Speedways. I was brought up by a single mom, and many kids, I mean 11 kids, by a single mom was not an easy life, and I grew up in what uh, you would call, is it a ghetto or semi-ghetto, something of the sort. And uh, grew up with a lot of discipline. I went to primary school, to high school, and I started playing football. Football has been my life. I mean, football is like my second nature. And uh, coaching also has wanted to be a coach. I remember winning my first trophy as a player when I was in Form 2, the Coca-Cola Cup finish then found myself and as assistant coach uh, finally i took over as the head coach i've won the three kenya premier leagues with tasker three sekafa tournaments down in the first half and then making two goals just before the break but again as we look for the third goal uh, these guys hit us on that counter attack i think uh, our team has been looking for a way to score goals today we were there we scored the goals <laughs> to qualify a couple of nations with a lot of points. I think it was 13 points. Uh, top group yetu. And three wins, four wins, actually four wins, and one draw, and one loss. Uh, it's not a mean feat. Unaona, being that Kenya is here in the powerhouse, we have to chini sana kwa muda, lakini tuli perform. Kila mchezaji yule alikuwa pale aliwa kuna ghost within hiyo time kama 4 years hivi kutoka 2001 paka 2005 after hapo wachezaji almost the whole squad 98% walikuwa ndani ya Kenya kucheza football now I'm in radio but also I do a commentary I work for Super Sport for some time I did uh, uh, the World Cup in Qatar in uh, 2022 and uh, I would say <laughs> jack of many trades. I don't know if I'm a master of any, but uh, this is where I am right now in Patanisho, Gideon Ghost Asubui, and uh, I have fun. I love, I love the job. I mean, I say once the gas gets out, then I don't go to work. I mean, I enjoy doing what I do, and I've enjoyed doing everything that I've done. <laughs> Ghost is my very, very good friend. Eh? Um, and also my workmate, but I, 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 I actually met Ghost a long time back when he was a, a, a star soccer player and I was just a player. You know, when we had the interested footballs, eh? football tournaments, everybody must play, whether you are young, whether you are old. So I first saw Ghost Mule when he was playing for a team called uh, Speedways. A long time back, I think it was previously called Iqbal FC, a long time back in the estates. And then, by then, he was a striker. After that, I knew him as the coach of Tasker FC, and then I knew him as the coach of the national team because I was that, I was that time a reporter, uh, and then a sports editor, and so I used to interact with him. When he was at the national team, then I would talk to him more frequently about the team and about the you know which players are in it, what the program is, and everything. But later on. I taught him commentary and I taught him how to be an, as, a, an analyst on television. And later on, I also trained him as a radio presenter. It's been quite a journey, but we're still journey. It's not the end of a journey. I love Patanisha so much. They make me laugh. I mean, when somebody says that they stole everything. <laughs> That word was the killer. I'm a family man. I have three boys uh, who are now not boys, they are men actually, because uh, uh, one has graduated, the other one has the university, he's just finished a college course, and the other one is still at USI doing his course. So they are men now. Well, I dreamt 
to be the national team coach when I was um, uh, in Form 2. And I thank God because I realized my dream. I mean, uh, I did my studies. I thank Siang, I gave me my first certificate. Then I did uh, FIFA courses. I went to Holland uh, to do uh, one license. And then I went to Germany. I was so lucky. And uh, then I coached the national team. I've been in the national team on and off uh, five times in total. I don't think I'm going to go back. Uh, every time the coach says he doesn't think he's going to go back, he goes back. But this time I think I'm done. I want to help the youth uh, to develop their talent I'm working uh, right now uh, to see that the young boys can be able to uh, be groomed in a good way so right now I'm just like uh, doing a voluntary work in terms of coaching not uh, really coaching for money ghost and ghost man and after perfection and after the best out of you so lazima at some point in disciplinarian kali on a sequel to a camp Kamu bagi skut satu badan. Nak kira mana jual titol lewe kau dengan skut. Very good coach, focused. He knows what he wants. Very fair, disciplined. Kali kuli. Wah. Eh. Um. Laki ni jaman easy. Um. Very free. Ah. He lets you express yourself on the pitch, off the pitch. Atau tak kujual kiri aku mahali aku. What you think? Anaskiza sana kwa kila mtu kutoa kwa kila mtu wachiza jiwa ke kila mtu. So kama coach na fikiri coach poa sana. He played a big role in my development because I need to acquire. Level Nigeria can be level level international. Well, Liberty Sports Academy, uh, we started it in 2008 with the late slighted Tel Haji. Gores is all in eternal peace. A uh, Ghanaian man who made Ghana be what it is in terms of football and. Uh, once we started Liberty, our aim was to promote players. Liberty has produced a lot of players locally to play in the Premier League and different leagues, but our top striker that we produce is Michael Olunga. I'm happy for him. He's doing very well right now in Qatar. He has started his own uh, academy, uh, Michael Olunga Football Academy uh, in Otoro Village. So I think it's a good thing because it also gives other uh, boys and girls opportunity to showcase their talent so liberty is there we are playing in division one the senior teams but uh, we are based actually at james cambridge and uh, we nurture talent from the five years up to uh, under 20 so i'm also happy because i'm doing uh, i'm doing work that is part of my passion uh, i have another passion that uh, is animals flora and fauna i mean uh, it's just that we're in the dry weather but uh, I know the Nairobi National Park like the palm of my hands. I study animals, I study plants, because when you out there in the forest, you see the nature, what God created, what God wants, wanted the world to be. I mean, there are no restrictions. The lions are walking freely, uh, the elephants, you see all kinds of animals. I mean, it's a beauty to watch God's creation. So I like flora and fauna. That is where I spend most of my time. Of course, I, had, I used to have a lot of time for dancing, uh, going out to the club and enjoying Grimba music. Music. I love music. I love any kind of music. Okay, I listen to reggae when the mood is uh, like reggae. I listen to slow jam when I want to cool down. When I want to get crazy, I listen to Fale Pupa, Coffee Olomi Day. So I love, sometimes I want to maybe just advice. Okay, I listen to some gospel music when I want to lift my spirit up. And then when I want to really hear teasing words, I listen to Tarabo. Okay, I um, also love Diamond and Banner Boys of this world. So music is another thing that I love and I have a lot of collection of music. Depending on the mood that I am in is the kind of music that I pick. <laughs> Jacob, jack of many trades, kept on dreaming and dreaming bigger, regardless. My mother used to beat me not to play football 
I think she's dancing in the grave knowing that football has made me what I am. I've never looked for a job. I've never applied for a job anywhere. It's football that has brought me this far. I was being beaten not to play. My siblings used to tell my mom that I played when I, 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 I'm trying to hide that I didn't play. And I was, my mother used to know what time to beat me, six in the morning. I think when you have passion for something, just go for it, no matter the resistance, no matter what challenges you go through, because to this moment, I thank football because that is what I've lived on all my life. Well, uh, I came into radio by a coincidence, I would say, and Patani Show is big, I like it, I mean, there's no school for marriage. Patani Show is the only place where you can bring your marriage or relationship problems, and then people try to comment and sort them out. So, I love Patani Show. I just love what football has made me achieve. <laughs> Actually, I will, I'm at a point where uh, I would tell them um, there's a point I reach in my life I was like, I've achieved everything I wanted in life. Uh, if God decides to take me now, I'm ready. I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm, I'm, I'm happy with uh, what I've done in my life, the impact maybe I had on some people. And uh, I wouldn't say that there's something more I'm looking for, maybe better years in old age, advice, uh, young generation. But uh, with uh, where God has put me, I'm more than happy. You can be what you want to be. It just depends. You pray to God and you choose your path. If you want to be an engineer, then know everything about engineer. There's a saying that I say, know everything about something and something about everything. Don't be an engineer and you don't know who is the president of the United States of America. I mean, it's good to keep yourself abreast with uh, current affairs, but in your line, if it is football, you must know everything about football that there is to know. If you have chosen football, if you are a scientist, you have to know everything about science because that's your passion. But don't be blinded that you don't keep an eye on other things. You need to know how the world is moving. And uh, I always say you can always be what you want to be. Many times I learned out of his way at a sort of zingine bills of federation that I didn't know but I like in his I mean I can see Respect. Respect. Everyone has a story. My mentor, Otifa the, the late, used to say, better have a fruit with love in it than fat meat with hatred therein. Or a house is made of bricks, but a home is made of love. Cheers. And this is Jacob Molaise.